Japan, a nation renowned for its technological prowess and captivating culture, is also a land inextricably linked to earthquakes. Situated along the volatile Pacific Ring of Fire, Japan has long grappled with the ever-present threat of seismic activity. These tremors, ranging from gentle rumbles to catastrophic quakes, have left an indelible mark on the nation's history and psyche. Yet, from this crucible of geological instability has emerged an unwavering spirit of resilience, reflected most strikingly in Japan's awe-inspiring earthquake-proof towers. These architectural marvels stand as testaments to human ingenuity, showcasing cutting-edge engineering designed to withstand the Earth's most formidable forces. For the people of Japan, this scenario is not a product of imagination but a recurring reality. It is this very reality that has fueled their relentless pursuit of architectural solutions capable of providing safety and security amidst seismic uncertainty. From the fundamental concept of base isolation to the intricate networks of reinforced concrete and steel, these towers embody the epitome of architectural innovation. Japan's long and tumultuous relationship with earthquakes has shaped its architectural evolution. Over the centuries, the nation has endured countless seismic events, some leaving behind trails of devastation and prompting the development of increasingly sophisticated building techniques. One cannot delve into Japan's seismic history without acknowledging the profound impact of the 1923 Great Kanto earthquake. This catastrophic event measuring a staggering 7.9 on the Richter scale, devastated Tokyo and Yokohama, claiming over 100,000 lives and leaving an enduring scar on the nation's consciousness. The Great Kanto earthquake served as a brutal awakening, highlighting the urgent need for earthquake-resistant construction in Japan's rapidly growing urban centers. Building codes were rigorously revised, placing greater emphasis on earthquake resistance and mandating the use of reinforced concrete in construction. Subsequent earthquakes, such as the 1995 Great Hanshin earthquake that struck Kobe, continued to test the limits of existing building technologies. Each new challenge brought forth innovative solutions, pushing the boundaries of architectural ingenuity and reinforcing Japan's position as a global leader in earthquake-resistant design. At the heart of many modern earthquake-proof towers lies a deceptively simple yet ingenious concept base isolation. This revolutionary approach to seismic design aims to decouple the building from the ground, effectively isolating it from the most damaging horizontal movements of an earthquake. Base isolation systems typically employ specialized bearings made of rubber, lead or other materials with high energy dissipation properties. These bearings act as shock absorbers, deflecting and absorbing the ground's lateral movements, thereby minimizing the transfer of energy to the building above. The effectiveness of base isolation lies in its ability to lengthen the building's natural period of vibration. In simple terms, the building is designed to sway at a slower rate than the ground during an earthquake. This difference in frequency helps to reduce the resonance effect, which occurs when the building's natural frequency matches the frequency of the earthquake's ground motion, leading to amplified shaking and potential structural damage. Rising majestically above the bustling streets of Tokyo, the Tokyo Sky Tree stands as a testament to Japan's earthquake-proof engineering. Reaching 634 meters, it symbolizes architectural prowess and resilience with a sophisticated base isolation system. These bearings absorb and dissipate seismic energy, protecting the structure from ground motions. Inspired by traditional Japanese pagodas, the central column enhances stability. The Tokyo Sky Tree's design ensures it can withstand extreme stress. While base isolation plays a crucial role in mitigating seismic forces, the true strength of Japan's earthquake-proof towers lies within their very bones, the intricate frameworks of reinforced concrete and steel that form their robust skeletons. Reinforced concrete, a composite material consisting of concrete embedded with steel bars or mesh, forms the foundation for many earthquake-proof structures. Concrete, known for its compressive strength, excels at resisting crushing forces, while the embedded steel reinforcement provides tensile strength allowing the material to bend and flex without fracturing under tension. This combination of properties makes reinforced concrete an ideal material for constructing the load-bearing walls, columns, and beams of earthquake-resistant buildings. Steel, with its exceptional strength-to-weight ratio and inherent ductility, 
plays an equally vital role in earthquake-proof construction. Structural steel, often in the form of beams, columns, and bracing systems, provides a robust framework that can withstand both tensile and compressive forces. The ductility of steel, its ability to deform significantly without fracturing, allows buildings to absorb and dissipate seismic energy without catastrophic failure. The design and construction of reinforced concrete and steel structures in earthquake-prone regions are governed by stringent building codes and standards. Imagine a car without shock absorbers, its occupants subjected to every bump and dip in the road. Similarly, a building without adequate damping mechanisms would experience amplified shaking during an earthquake, potentially leading to structural damage or even collapse. Damping systems like the shock absorbers in a car play a crucial role in dissipating seismic energy and reducing the building's response to ground motion. One common type of damping system employed in earthquake-proof towers is the tuned mass damper. This ingenious device typically consists of a large mass mounted to the building's structure using springs or pendulums. During an earthquake as the building begins to sway, the tuned mass damper oscillates out of phase with the building's movement, effectively counteracting a portion of the building's vibrational energy. Another type of damping system utilizes viscous fluid dampers. These devices, often installed within a building's walls or bracing systems, contain a viscous fluid such as silicone oil that resists flow when subjected to shear forces. While traditional earthquake-resistant design focuses on passively resisting seismic forces, a new frontier of structural engineering seeks to outsmart earthquakes in real time through active control systems. These cutting-edge technologies go beyond simply absorbing or dissipating seismic energy. They actively counteract the forces imposed on a building, minimizing its response to ground motion and enhancing its overall stability. Imagine a building equipped with sensors that constantly monitor its movement, detecting even the slightest tremors. This data is then fed into a sophisticated computer system that analyzes the building's response in real time and instantly adjusts the tension in strategically placed actuators or tendons. These actuators, acting like giant muscles, can apply counteracting forces to the building, effectively steering it back towards its original position and minimizing its sway. Active control systems can take various forms, each with its unique advantages and applications. Active mass dampers, for example, are essentially larger and more sophisticated versions of tuned mass dampers, utilizing computer-controlled actuators to move a large mass in response to seismic activity. Active base isolation systems, on the other hand, employ sensors and actuators to adjust the stiffness or damping properties of the isolation bearings, optimizing their performance in real time. The relentless pursuit of seismic safety is an ongoing journey, with engineers and architects constantly pushing the boundaries of innovation to create ever more resilient structures. The future of earthquake-proof design holds exciting possibilities, driven by advancements in materials science, computational modeling, and our understanding of earthquake dynamics. One promising area of research focuses on the development of smart materials that can adapt their properties in response to external stimuli such as seismic vibrations. Imagine building materials that can stiffen or soften on demand, effectively adjusting their response to ground motion and minimizing stress concentrations. Shape memory alloys, piezoelectric materials, and magnetorheological fluids are just a few examples of smart materials with potential applications in earthquake-resistant construction. Advancements in computational modeling and simulation are also revolutionizing the way we design and analyze earthquake-proof structures. Sophisticated software programs allow engineers to create detailed virtual models of buildings and subject them to a wide range of simulated earthquake scenarios. These simulations provide invaluable insights into a building's likely performance during a seismic event, enabling engineers to identify potential weaknesses and optimize the design for maximum resilience. In the heart of Japan, where the Earth's tectonic plates collide and tremors are a fact of life, the pursuit of seismic safety has given rise to some of the world's most innovative architecture. From base isolation to active control systems, Japan's earthquake-proof towers stand as testaments to human ingenuity. The lessons learned from Japan's experience have global implications. As we expand into seismically active regions, incorporating earthquake-resistant features becomes paramount. Building a safer future, brick by brick, is within our grasp.